everybody and welcome back to my channel. I've received quite a few questions from subscribers asking me what setup I use on MetaTrader 4 and to go into detail on the indicators that I use and that's what I'm going to do in this video. So let's dive onto the charts. <laughs> Hey guys, before I explain a little bit more about my setup here, I just wanted to clarify that this isn't going to be a tutorial on how to use MetaTrader 4. If you're looking for a tutorial or if you're new to MetaTrader 4 platform, I have created another video and I'll include a link above if you do want to check that out. So if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I use MetaTrader 4 on my central screen on my laptop and I use it for two reasons. I use it to execute a trade and to manage a trade and that's it. I don't do any technical analysis on MetaTrader 4. For that, I have my two screens on either side of my laptop and I use a platform called TradingView, the charting software, to actually carry out my technical analysis. For a whole bunch of reasons, I love TradingView and I've got another video that talks a bit more about why I love them so much if you do want to check that out. But that's why I generally have kept my chart quite simple and clean here on MetaTrader 4. So there is a difference you might have spotted with my MetaTrader 4 chart compared with my TradingView chart and that is that it is a dark mode screen. And the reason I have a black screen on here is basically because I find it more clear to see my lines when I'm placing hard orders, a hard stop, a hard profit target, or even a pending order. On MetaTrader 4, it displays as a dotted line, and I find it much easier to see that line when I have a black background for my charts rather than a white background. I don't know why, I've tried it white, and it just wasn't as easy, so I've decided to keep it black. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of currency pairs along the bottom here ready to load up the charts for to get into a trade. And this is my live trading platform, so I'm not going to actually get into any trades or play around today. So looking at the chart first, when I set up MetaTrader 4, I decided to keep a template saved that would make it a lot easier whenever I load up new currency pairs to trade or new charts, I can just load up my template. I'm going to show you an example. So if I click on the new chart button here and let's load something up that I have not got. Uh, let's load up gold. This is the standard default template for the charts that comes up from MetaTrader 4. Just a pretty scary looking line chart with no option to actually buy or sell into this. And I have, as I said, created a template. So all I need to do is right click and underneath templates, if I click on main chart, that loads up my generic chart that I like to use. Now you can do it the long way and that is to right click on the chart and go into properties and then spend a bit of time choosing what you want here, changing the background colour, you can actually remove the grid uh, or you can keep it if you like the grid, change the colours of the candles and so on. And underneath comment here there's the option to choose line chart, candlesticks, bar chart as well as some other bits here that you can really use to personalise your charts to make it easy for you. Now I have one indicator on here. I know that MetaTrader 4 have got a great resource, loads of indicators available to use for charts. But I've literally kept my charts very simple and just included one indicator. Now, I do primarily trade price action and I like to keep clean, clear charts, but I do like to use this indicator and that is the exponential moving average and for that I use the 50 period. And I just like it because at a glance, it's easy to see whether something is in a strong trend or not, and also the whether it is in an uptrend or a downtrend. So for example here, just looking at the hourly chart for gold USD, it has moved underneath the 50 period moving average. And I mean, I don't use this to do technical analysis on, but it is just nice to have as a reference just to see what price is doing. If you're familiar with MetaTrader 4, you'll know that on the left hand side here, you can literally uh, show all of the currency pairs available to trade and underneath that we have this navigator box here where you can actually display things like the indicators or the expert advisors that you are using. You can see here I've got my moving average, that's the moving average that I've got on the chart here and I've also got these two extra expert advisors that I do dip in and out of occasionally for trading and one of those is the risk calculator now, I haven't got this up at the moment because I don't use it all the time, mainly because the purpose of the risk calculator, to calculate your risk, I can also get from using magic keys, and I tend to prefer using magic keys. 
But if you want to learn a little bit more about risk calculator, I created a separate video where I talk about that. It is a expert advisor, it's a subscription, so you pay monthly to use the software. And basically, if I just load this up so you can see it, it displays this calculator that you can use to help manage your risk whilst you are trading. And it is really quite useful, so I do encourage you to check out that video if you want to learn more. But as I mentioned before, the other expert advisor that I like to use is Magic Keys. And you can't really see too much about Magic Keys here because once I have actually integrated the software onto MetaTrader 4, and I know I've done that because I've got a smiley face here in the top right hand corner, the way that I use Magic Keys is with the keypad. And this is another really cool tool. It's a brilliant expert advisor that I like to use. I'm not gonna talk too much about it now, uh, but it's basically a way you can manage risk and also manage a trade. Again, I did create another video on Magic Key, so I'll include a link above if you want to find some more information out about those. And that's pretty much as personalised as MetaTrader 4 gets for me. I know that there are many different ways that you can personalise this and you can use so many things. There's loads of different indicators that you can use. And there are loads of tools as well, loads of drawing tools that you can use to do technical analysis, but I just tend to stay away from those because I prefer to use TradingView to do that. All I like to do with MetaTrader 4 is to execute a trade that I've already pre-planned using TradingView. And once I'm in the trade, I like to manage it. And to do that, I use my moving average as a reference point. I use magic keys to help me manage a trade. And that's basically it. I've had a few people ask me why I don't use TradingView to manage my trade and to take trades and that's a really great question. But that's mainly because I prefer the facility that MetaTrader 4 gives to you for a number of reasons. If I go into TradingView here and if I click on the trading panel, let's just make that a little bit bigger. And as you can see here at the moment when I'm recording this video, TradingView have a rather limited amount of brokers that they allow you to integrate with their platform for trading. So I am with Awanda and I do use Awanda with MetaTrader 4 and Awanda is actually one of the brokers you can connect to TradingView. So theoretically I could use TradingView, but I don't know if I'm going to actually stay with Awanda. I'm kind of leaning towards trying IC markets because I've heard that they've got really good spreads. A little bit different to Awanda because with Awanda I don't pay commissions but I have larger spreads and I'm thinking about trying IC markets so that I can have very small spreads even though I pay commissions for those. And if I decide to make that change, they're a broker that aren't integrated with TradingView. So for me, I've preferred to stay with MetaTrader 4 because it is accessible by so many brokers. So many brokers allow you to integrate with MetaTrader 4. And I don't want to make it hard for myself by becoming familiar and learning another software when I might choose a broker that doesn't allow me to use that software. So I thought I'd keep it simple and stick with MetaTrader 4. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video just sharing a little bit more of an insight into my setup on MetaTrader 4. If you've got any questions or comments do leave them below and if you've enjoyed the video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I'll catch you on my next video. Thank you, bye!